everybody, this is Angelica. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Today's video is going to be about handling difficult emotions. I'm sure probably everybody will get something out of this video because everyone from time to time will have to deal with emotions that are not comfortable or easy to deal with. And especially these past few months have been really intense energetically. So a lot of light workers, a lot of people on the spiritual path have been going through some huge transformations. I myself have been going through a huge transformation and it's basically started when um, I started doing the Amine work, which I just got back from another workshop. Um, well, I'm actually learning to become a practitioner. So I went to another um, five-day um, training course and learned how to do the work, got the work done on me. And so I know about how, to, how I've dealt with my difficult emotions. And this work, Amine, um, really helps people to move into these things and to clear them out from the body and from the energy field so you can live in a more healthy, loving, happy way. But when these emotions are coming up, when they're moving through you, it doesn't necessarily feel like you're going to be able to deal with the things that are coming up for you. And so what most people do is they distract themselves and they do other things. Um, instead of sitting with the uncomfortable emotions and expressing them and allowing them to leave the body. And that is what Amine is about. So it may appear that, quote unquote, normal people don't have as many difficult emotions. At least that's what I perceive when I look around and I see people and it appears that, oh, you know, I must be a really emotional person. Um, I must, you know, have more things going on than most. And that is true. When you're um, on the spiritual path, you will be probably dealing with more than most people, in a sense, because you have this ability to kind of transmute energy. But that energy that you're transmuting must have some kind of link or way in through your energy field. And that happens because you have experienced similar pain in the past um, from your childhood, from whatever. So if you have certain like pain frequencies, um, and that's the best way I could describe it. If you have things that have happened to you in the past that are frequencies of energy, because everything is energy, everything is a frequency of energy, and you have that in your energy body or in your field, things from the outside will trigger that within you, that same frequency out there. And it will come into your life in order to heal, for you to heal. And as you heal it, it heals on an outer level. So we're doing a lot of different things, multidimensional things, um, things that we don't quite understand in this regular physical realm because that energy of the other dimensions is very different. So, and it's not grounded here on earth yet. So this is why the Amine is very important and is key to healing because when we heal our bodies and we embody these, these spiritual energies fully in our body, and that's what the work is about, we're able to ground and anchor this energy this spiritual energy here on earth. So that's kind of been my path ever since I started my spiritual awakening. It's been to really take this spiritual energy and really ground it and embody it in the body. And that process is not easy. You know, we came here as volunteers to help the planet heal, to help the planet grow, to bring love to the planet. But the process that we've had to go through in order to do that is we oftentimes have had to come into really difficult, challenging childhoods, have had to experience a lot of pain in whatever way, so that we could awaken and have that 
pain within us, heal from it within us, and allow this, our true selves, or the spiritual energy, however you want to describe it, to kind of be embodied fully so that we can actually bring it in a physical way. So that is what we're doing. And in the process of that, we will have a lot of difficult emotions come up to deal with. And what people often do when they experience pain, uh, emotional pain, is they tend to uh, distract themselves or do other things so that they don't have to feel the pain. In whatever way you do that, you know, um, we're kind of like running from ourselves. Because really, when something's coming up, it's asking to be heard. It's asking to be expressed. It's asking for your awareness and your, your attention on it. So instead, sometimes what we do is we busy ourselves. We do this, we do that, anything to escape from us, anything to escape the feelings of pain. And the feelings of pain are there for a reason. It's trying to show you something. It's, um, it, it means that you need to give yourself more love, more time more understanding and that can be really difficult when you may have a low self-esteem you may feel that you're not worthy you may feel all of these things and these all stem from past pain past childhood pain but we must heal this in order to move forward in order to grow on our path and it is not easy um, the work that I've done in Amine has not been easy for me and I'm just going to say that um, right now. And the reason it hasn't been is because it's always that we think, you know, there's no more pain left. I didn't really think there was no more pain left. We're always healing. We're always growing. We're always moving forward. I knew I had some more layers. Um, and what Amine does is it brings you into it really fast, really deeply to kind of clear it and move on. Um, and if you haven't seen my video for Amine, you can go back and watch it. It's where I get the healing done. So um, now I've had like many, many days of this work on myself. And I'm still integrating now because I just got back. So I'm integrating a lot of things. So I don't really feel like my normal self at the moment. But I just thought it was important um, to put this video up so I could tell you don't run from your feelings. Don't distract yourself. Don't turn on the TV. Don't eat ice cream if that's the way you you cope with your emotions. Um, do something different. You know, sit with yourself and feel it, and it will release. It will go away. It's just asking for attention. So just you know, stay in your body and really feel it. So I also wanted to just quickly mention I have got a comment on. Um, one of the last videos I've, I've done, and I know that it's extremely important to have a positive mental attitude to bring in what you are desiring in life, and it's very important to, to have a vision and know where you're going. So when you do that, what happens is things need to come up to be released to make room for that newness of your new potential to come through. So I, I got a comment saying I have trouble kind of figuring this out when I want to be in a positive state all the time. However, um, right when you kind of make that decision, you get excited for a couple of days and then boom, it hits you. All these things start coming up to be rele released and then you get kind of down and you get negative and you think things aren't working. Well, things are working. And I just want to let you know that you're not going to have a wonderful day every single day, especially when you're trying to reach a new level of your growth. In fact, it'll appear as if everything's falling apart before things start to get better. Um, and that's just the way that it works um, because you have to kind of clear out so that the new can come in. Um, it doesn't mean that everything has to be completely destroyed, but things are releasing, things are letting go. You're letting go of things that are standing in the way from you becoming that. So anyway, when that starts happening, don't panic. It's best to just stay in yourself, tune into yourself and feel what you're feeling 
And at the same time, don't get discouraged that like your vision's not happening or that you're being negative and get frustrated with yourself. Allow the process to unfold. Allow yourself to feel not great all the time because you're not going to feel great all the time especially when you're always trying to move higher and higher. If you are stagnant and staying in like a comfortable space, sure, you know, but that's not you or you wouldn't be watching this video. So just stay with your difficult emotions as they're passing through. Do not leave yourself. Love yourself. Give yourself the rest and time you need because I promise this is about trust. This is about trust in the universe. And when you trust the universe, everything unfolds. The universe will never let you fall. You are going through an extremely difficult process, but part of that process is trust. So if you don't trust the universe, if you don't trust that everything's going to be okay, then the universe will bring lessons in to prove you right. So a big part of this is trust, that you'll be taken care of, that you're on the right path, that everything is working out perfectly as it should, even though it doesn't feel so great in the moment. And in that space of it not feeling so great, do what you can to make yourself feel better. Give yourself some rest, some time to recover. Allow yourself to feel your feelings and they will pass and you will feel better. And the universe is always taking care of you. So um, just, just know that in your heart and trust and everything will work out fine. I love you all. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.